Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DVR. Today we will play Madrid Noir on the Oculus Quest 2. And finally, this is not a shooter, this is an interactive VR story. So we are a little girl that lives in an um, apartment and is locked in by her uncle. And she's so bored that, re that she tries to find out what strange things her uncle is doing. And we can do some interactions, but we can also listen to the story. And that's pretty cool. Let's check it out. You can find everything about VNA on this channel thanks to my sponsors, Vodkus VR, Oppermann Events, Peter Wasmeyer, Virtual Escape and Slim Beats. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Okay guys, welcome to the game. It's very dark here. Confidential, what's that? Can we? Oh, we can open that. Select a hand. I, I don't I don't care. I don't care about the hand. What? Ah, English. Lady, welcome. Who? It's the hair. What's that with the hand? Don't understand that. I don't understand that. So. Oh, here we go. Oculus. Madrid Noir. So can we uh, skip that? I don't know. I don't think so. <sighs> wow. Hmm. Hello? Will you turn on the light, please? The light? Thank you. Ha <sighs> ha. <sighs> All right. So these are the last boxes from the car. Finally. Hmm. What's all this? What? I can imagine my uncle had this many friends. Oh, come on. Just because he's dead or declared dead doesn't mean he was this wonderful man. <laughs> He's so dusty here. <laughs> you know, I'm actually surprised this place didn't collapse during the war. Um, and thanks again for helping with this, hmm. by the way. <laughs> you know, I haven't spoken about this in a very long time, but seeing as we are up here rooting through all his crap, I may as well tell you some stuff about him. What? How does that still work? Hello? It here. I bet you hundred percent that this is my mother. Hola. Hola, mama. Hola. Um, we're just starting now. Because oh, we only just got here. Oh. Yeah, I know. I, I'm, I'm counting down the days. Well, I'll only be back in time for the fitting if you let us get on with it. <laughs> no, I'm not shouting. I'm not shouting. This is just my voice. I'm not shouting. Mama? Mama? You know, me and my mom don't exactly see eye to eye, right? And now she's appointed herself as the wedding planner and... Oh, it's just too much. <sighs> I wish I could be as excited as her, but I don't know. I'm just not. It's 
Sometimes I wish I could just run away from it all. Just escape yeah. to some paradise. Feel the sun on my skin, the mm -hmm. salt in my hair. You know, cut my teeth on some proper adventure. Well, it's not the most practical plan, is it? Come on then, these boxes aren't gonna pack themselves. Would you mind looking in those drawers while I rummage through this cupboard? Oh, it's jammed. Just give it a good tug. Hmm. So, anything interesting in there? Oh yeah, sorry. I was telling you about my uncle. Oh. Firstly, don't be fooled by the cheesy bow tie. This man had some real skeletons in his closet. I must have been nine or ten years old when I got sent here. Hmm. I was a bit of a troublemaker growing up, and my parents thought I could use some old-fashioned Catholic discipline. Though when I got here, discipline was the last thing on my mind. Hey! Okay, so picture this. It's 1935, a beautiful summer. What? I've just arrived off the train, and guess who's there to greet me? She was the cutest little nice. ball of squiggly fun I've ever seen. Her name was Paquita. I didn't even know my uncle Paquita. had a dog. And we fell in love instantly. <laughs> oh, and at the time, I fancied myself as quite the little Sherlock Holmes. I mean, I probably read too many stories, but I couldn't wait to get out there and investigate my first real case. But Manolo, my uncle, really didn't have the same fun as me. He Hello. just wanted to sit around inside, twitching his mustache and rustling those stupid newspapers. This was going to be my summer? Hmm. The worst part was, whenever he actually did anything, he would never tell me where he was going, never invite me, and he locked the door behind him. And I mean double bolted. So, soon enough, my exciting adventure had turned into a bad case of cabin fever. I remember wondering if I could genuinely die of boredom. <laughs> Eventually, things got so bad that I just started doing the housework, just for something to do. Of course, that didn't last very long. So, with nothing else to do, I started investigating anything I could get my hands on. Paquita is my wily psychic, of course. But even that <laughs> had all my uncle's knowledge. <laughs> and soon enough, he... Well, he had enough. And, in a bid to get rid of me, he gave me something. I had no clue what it was, but it didn't take me long to figure out that it was an old camera. As soon as I got the hang of it, that was it. I knew I had found my calling. I love taking photos of things, even just around the house. Especially Paquita. <laughs> oh, she took quite a few knocks in the process, but I think she loved the attention. And for a while, I began to forget that I was trapped in here. My uncle never joined in any of the fun, of course, or even noticed what we were up to. Now that I think about it, it must have been around that time that I started to realize that Manolo was barely home at all. It wasn't just during the day either. He was always sneaking out at night. He was like clockwork. As soon as I put my head down, there he was, shuffling across that same squeaky floorboard every <laughs> night. Did he really think I wouldn't notice? Come on, I knew he was up to something. Something shifty. Something worth investigating. And so this went on night after night after night. I just couldn't take the mystery any longer. I rooted through this whole damn office looking for some sort of, I don't know, some sort of clue, but there was nothing. So instead, 
I started to document his movement. What time did he leave? What direction did he go? Which tram did he take? Click. And I started snapping photos of him every time he crept away. Hello. Oh. But even with all that evidence, I just couldn't piece it together. <laughs> to be honest, I was about to give up until, until this one day, this one day when he came in with this bag. And right away, you could just tell there was Madrid Noir. Hey, that was a bad cliffhanger, right? <laughs> so I don't want to show you uh, big parts of the story because the uh, full um, interactive story is only 46 minutes long. So um, 10 minutes was, I think, okay to show you. Um, it's a cool thing. It's so sweet and you can uh, really do some in interactions also. Um, cool story. And yeah, you can play it on the quest one and quest two. I still have no idea about the price, but I think I would I would spend like 10 bucks for the 46 minutes because it's polished and it's awesome. Um, I love this kind of stuff. If you love the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Voodoo